Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and support and leave a comment down below. So, I am coming back to you guys with a story time. I know I promised that you know I'd do story times and that, but you know, been busy with school and dealing with other things. So, uh, I thought I'd do you an honor since you know it's coming close to the Easter holidays and that, that I do you guys, you know a little you know friday night saturday night sunday night whatever part of the weekend that you're watching this because i'm obviously posting this on a weekend make sure you tap into this video okay so i thought you know i'd do a story time well a series of story times uh from my old school reason being is my old school's got more interesting stories i can narrate them very well another reason is i've realized that i have starting to lose my memory what do i mean by that right you some of you lot may be surprised because you know i usually have like a good memory but when you come from a toxic educational environment where you're constantly bullied picked up completely scrutinized of everything that you did right well then once you leave it you want to suppress the memories of it it's very hard for you to reminisce or to remember, right? And I can't lie, I'm starting to forget names as well. Like, I remember faces, but the names, oh, I'm forgetting half of them, you know. But if I see one down the street, I just know that I'm ignoring you. I'm just doing, you know, I'm minding my business. But the thing is, if you're moving funny to me, I'm going to move funny to you because, you know, mm-mm. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that No, no, no I mean, no If I see one of them down in the street, yeah If I'm called you, you know, I'll just say like a friendly hey If I'm not, then Because I am not playing with anybody I'm not downgrading myself for anyone You need to make sure that you need to keep it a high standard for yourself and for yourself only right so today's one is a little one as you can tell from the title these ones right i've got if they were different make i'll put a picture of the make here right this happened in year seven right and it's the only thing in year seven that i can remember like anything major happening i started the school in 2016 this was early 2017. The kid, what am I going to call him? Pony. I have no hate towards this kid, by the way. I just thought he was just a bit, you know, cocoon yet. Do you know what I mean? No hate to you. I love ya. Stay super freaky. Have great. I love ya. The backstory behind this kid was, well, at the time, he was just very strange. And... I remember we used to have like, you know, a few classes together and especially English because uh, English, I think I used to sit next to him. I don't know whether we were being assigned by the names due of the register or it was just a random seating plan. But I remember I got sat next to this kid, yeah. This kid was strange from the get go, right? He'd always used to try and steal from me. He would make like really, really strange jokes. He would poke at me sometimes. Oh, poke it. Oh. So me being new to this educational environment, right? I was, you know, sort of getting picked on a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as the years went by, right? What happened was he had, he, he'd steal my pencil, he steal my rubbers, he steal my pens and that, right? And like, he proper carved them. Like, he'd had this habit of like carving out my pens and that, which I thought was strange. And I just thought, you know, all around this kid is just a strange kid. Um, and I still think he was strange uh, going up the years, like, you know, I just thought, you know, 
shocks for you, you know what I mean? Oh, oh wow. I noticed all these behaviors and everything, right, about him. We were mates. So one day, one of my hearing aids went a bit faulty, like it just couldn't sit. So if you see here, right, I don't know whether my camera's good. If you see here, the way the Baja is sitting, right, my, the actual tip of the hearing aid wasn't um, sitting properly, right? So it kept, when I stuck it on, it kept on falling out. So when I tried to do my best to try and keep it on and keep it on, keep it on, it just kept on slipping out. So I remember from my distinct memory, one day, it was a Monday, it was a Monday, early springtime, it was a drama lesson, so we just came after lunch. I think mocks were going on at the time, so the drama hall was being used. So we had to go to another room uh, upstairs at the same section of the school. It was room 52, I think, yeah. I came and I sat down and he wanted to introduce something to us. This odd kid was behind me, right? And we were sitting on the carpet. So I remember it took down, I slid it in my laser pocket on the outside. I couldn't feel anything being tugged. So then he puts us into like group activities and things like that. Still thinking that the hearing aid is in my pocket. So I went to another class that day, right? And then I remember I was waiting outside for my dad, right? Because I remember the school finished at 3.15, normal time. And this, remember, this is 2017, pre-corona time. Then I get a text message from him. He texted me saying, oh, eh, ha ha, I've got your hair in it. I checked my pocket. I was like, this kid robbed me blind. You stole my pen, you stole my ruler, you stole my everything and everything like that. But you want to rob a hearing aid. You must be that daft to rob something like that. This kid actually tried to rob me. Guys, rob me. Oh, if someone tried to rob me today, oh, they will not be hearing the end of it. So I'm there, I'm panicking. I'm like, give me back my hearing aid, give me back my hearing aid. No answer and everything like that, right? So when my dad came, right, I got in the car and then we came home. One time passed around four-ish, my mum looked at me and went, where's your hearing aid? I said, huh? She went, where's your hearing aid? And then she said, to me, then she said, turn to the side, I turned to the side. Yup, it's gone. And then I said to her, oh, it's in my pocket, it's in my pocket. Because I actually forgot about that text at the time. Then I checked my pocket and I realised it's gone. In that moment, I remember that text. And then I said, oh, eh, I do remember there was this boy that was sitting behind me. I'll check if he's got it or he might have taken it. Strangely, I had his number. I remember I texted him and I said to him, um, do you have my hearing aid? Can you give me back, please? And everything. No answer. It was only going to one tick on WhatsApp. We tried calling him. We tried calling the number. We tried phoning a number, leaving voicemails, many, many text messages and everything, right? Nothing. The next day, I go in and I ask him and I say, hey, do you have my hair need? He goes, yeah, it's in my house. I say, just give me back. I said, no, right. While I was confronting him, my parents already rang the school and say, oh, my, my hair need is gone. And the school took action. They checked the playground. They checked the classroom that I was in that day. They checked everything, and I mean everything. Every perimeter of that school was searched, and they did not find it. Meaning, and this is my hypothesis, that the hearing aid was not even in the school in the first place. Later that week, I remember seeing a Pony. He got dragged into the office um, to have like a meeting with his mom. I remember it was a Friday of the same week. And I remember sitting in the office and his mum was right next to me. She was saying, oh my God, I don't know why he would say something like that. I don't have the hearing aid and stuff like that and everything. And I was like, I was just asking your son, where is the hearing aid? We only rang the school to say that if the hearing aid was still in the building. 
you babe for saying that to me already implied that you you had the, the hair dates in your possession <laughs> looks like someone gave themselves up there mm. well well eh So if they go in, they have the little meeting, I just go home and I basically get told that the hearing aid is nowhere to be found, right? Uh, later down the road, yeah, I do find out from reliable sources, aka his mates, mind you, I find out everything, mind you, yeah, these streets, I find out anything and everything when necessary and needed. So... I'd heard from further sources down the line saying that, oh, he did have the hearing aid. Because remind you, yeah, that hearing aid, it cost £3,000. So it was very important for me to get that hearing aid when necessary. I remember the hospital found out and everything. They got me out of that hearing aid company and they fitted me with these ones. These ones are called Otacon and they were quite new. So these ones are the previous hearing aid companies that I had competition. So ever since 2017, I've had these hearing aids. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not even that angry about it, to be honest. It's just one of them where you just think you just have to give a big side eye to like, you must be that demented for you to be doing that. You must be that daft for you to be doing that. You must be that mad for you to be doing that. You know what I mean? Because. I just feel sorry for you. No hard feelings. Everything that I've said in this video, guys, there's literally no hard feelings. I don't even hate the kids. I just feel sorry for him because I'm just like, you know, for you to be doing that to me, it's just weird. Trust me, the reason why I say I don't have hate for him, right, this problem is minor, it's always got to be minor, right, but nobody should be stealing a hearing aid under any circumstances, I will never tolerate that. I'm not saying that for the cameras, because what I say on camera and off camera, I'll always do, right? Everything that you see on this channel is 100% realness. You're going to get 100% realness from me and realness from me only. And I never stood on that, right? Because, let's be honest, right? We all make mistakes. I've made horrible mistakes. Not even bad mistakes. Horrible mistakes, right? Through those horrible mistakes, I've lost friendships, good bonds with people and everything, right? Because I can't just sit here and be like, Oh, I'm a good person you know, all the time. Nothing bad can happen to me. It happens to everyone, no matter how much the bonds are there or not, right? At the end of the day, it is what it is, right? I'm not going to hate the person, because I know what I've done is out of stupidity. And that's what you're going to get on this channel. You're going to get both the bad sides of me when I say these story times, and the good sides of me when I say these story times, right? Because people are going to talk. People are going to talk regardless of what you do. No matter how much you can sit there, you can try and fight your battles, you can try and do anything. They're always going to find something that they do not like about you. It's annoying. Yes, I know it's annoying. Trust me. For me to look like this, for people to be judging this, to be judging this, to be judging everything, to the sound of my voice, to the way I look, to the way I present myself. To the way I talk. People are going to talk regardless. And you know what? That's just how the world is. I'm so sorry, but that's just how the world is. You just need to maintain resilience, calmness of the mind, and protect your space and everything like that, right? You need to maintain a certain decorum to sort of hide that. Because mm. there's a time and place for everything in life, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my story time, guys. I hope you 
sort of enjoyed that i think yeah i feel like i didn't really explain it very well but i tried to pick out everything from what i can remember because you know everything is just sort of like a blur to me so thanks for listening guys i hope to see you in my next story time hopefully it'll be more interesting than this one um this one is just literally the foundation the more story times are going to be even worse <laughs> they're going to be even more detail and everything and trust me you will enjoy them but yeah that's it from me guys have a good day afternoon and night i'll see you next time bye <laughs>